If we have multiple qubits, we represent them through the tensor product. For example, if we had two qubits in the zero state, then we would represent the state like this. This is usually shortened to this, where we have the two zeros in the one ket vector. If we wanted to represent two qubits in superposition, we can expand it out like any other operation by multiplying the amplitudes of the states and using the tensor product on the 0 and 1 states. As you can see, now we have four states, the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 states. This makes sense since those are the possible combinations of zeros and 1s we can have with two qubits. Measurement works the exact same as before. The probability of measuring 0, 0 is the magnitude squared of the coefficient of the 0, 0 state and so on. Here is an example of combining these two qubits. If we wanted to add another qubit to the system, all we need to do is tensor it onto the end of the state. We also have some shorthand notation you will sometimes see. If we have n zeros, we can write it like this which means 0 tensored with itself n times. So this state would be shorthand for 5 1s.